Obtaining adequate blood volume is the most significant variable for recovering microorganisms from patients with bloodstream infections. Bactealert Virtuo offers powerful optics and unique blood level detection technology that automatically measures the blood volume in each blood culture bottle at the time of loading. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the proper labeling of user labels on the bottles to prevent incorrect volume recordings, no volume recordings, when using the Bactealert Virtual Blood Culture System. At the end of this video, you should be able to Understand the importance of proper user label placement. Required materials. Inoculated Bacti-Alert bottles and user-applied labels. The Bacti-Alert Virtuo Imager uses different reference points on the Bacti-Alert bottle label to measure the proper sample volume. It's critical that the Bacti-Alert Virtuo Imager clearly detects the fluid level, fill line, and the bottle label reference points. Here you can see a Bacti-Alert label. To obtain accurate blood level detection, there are several areas of the bottle to avoid placement of user-applied labels. The incremental marking area, barcode pull tab, 2D barcode, the black box lot number expiration date area, and the bottle sample measurement area should be avoided when labeling the bottle. The user-applied label should be placed in a vertical position between the incremental marking area and the barcode pull tab as pictured. User label placement in any area of the Bacti-Alert bottle label, which obstructs the virtual imager from scanning critical reference points, will likely cause incorrect or no volume readings. Here, the user label obstructs the 2D barcode, which is a critical reference point for the virtual imager to locate the fill mark. Here the user label is placed over the black lot number area and fill 2 mark. This will cause a failure in the volume to be recorded. Here the user label is placed over the barcode pull tab. This will obstruct critical reference points and may cause shadows to interfere with the virtual imager. Finally, this example is showing the user label placed horizontally across multiple critical reference points, causing a failure in volume to be recorded and also a failure of user label to be read. In summary, the user applied label should be placed in the indicated area to prevent incorrect or no volume recordings.